Hi all, welcome back. In this video, I am going to implement sidebar component in Angular PrimeNG. For that, first you have to import the sidebar module. So going to the code, in app.module.ts or wherever the module you have, you can import the sidebar module. And in the import sections, you can import the sidebar module. After that, don't forget to add the browser animations module, otherwise sidebar module won't work. Then the browser animation module needs to be added in the import array. So once these two has been added, you can go to the component.html and you can use the sidebar component. So the P sidebar is the component you can use and inside that you can add any content. Okay, and now I am giving a visible parameter as the true. So then it will be always show the sidebar component. After saving that one, if you run the application, you can see that sidebar component is always getting showing. So it is not closing. So how we can make the sidebar component interactive? For that, you can assign a variable like a sidebar visible and which which you can make as a two-way binding now i am adding a static value here so what you can do you can make a two-way binding to the visible and you can add a variable that in the component.ts file add a variable component.ts file and i am telling initially the sidebar component is not visible that is false okay and after I am having a button outside the sidebar component and when I click on the button, I have to open the sidebar and if you click outside, it should close the sidebar. Okay, so I am making this visible parameter as a two-way binding. So making the sidebar variable visible, side, sidebar visible variable to make true and false. Okay, so first after implementing this one, you have to add a button. So here I didn't import the button module. That's why it is throwing error. So you can import the button module here. And also you can import button module here as well. Okay. So now the button is implemented and I am telling on click of the button, the sidebar variable is true. Then the sidebar is getting shown. And First, on the initial load, it is getting false and on close, it will getting again false. Okay, so this is how we will implement. So, this is the two-way binding. It is coming from the uh, component and once we click on the button, it is getting true. Initially, it will be false. Okay, so here you can see initially it is false. Once I click on the button, it is uh, opening the sidebar. And which has a h2 then which has a paragraph and which by default a close button will be there and either you can click on outside or you can click on the close button or you can click on the escape escape uh, key in order to close this sidebar okay so this is the basic setup of a sidebar next thing is like there are different uh, positions available so now the sidebar is opening from the left position so if if you want to open the sidebar on the right or top or bottom bottom you can change the position parameter to the right we don't need this square bracket instead position equal to right then you can see when i click the button the that is opening from the right side the same way you can add left uh, right bottom or top oh, these are the four parameters the next main thing is full screen so if you are giving full screen parameter to the true if you are giving the full screen attribute to the true it will show this one as a full screen whatever the menus we are getting this uh, the sidebar is expanded to a full screen so you can close it then it will again we can see the other screen again opening it will see the sidebar which is in a full screen the next scenario is if you want to change the width of a sidebar so you can um, change the width of the sidebar either using the style 
or using the style class so if you are using a style then you can tell like I need a width of the sidebar as 30 em then if if you open the width is getting increased or what you can do is there is a prime flex class okay the, there is a library of prime ng which is called prime flex you can install the prime flex and you also you can add the css in the angular.json which i have done in this project if that is the case you can directly use the style class and if you go to the tutorial here there will be different classes available so these are the prime flex classes okay so you can use it directly without writing any of the css but make sure you have to write a style class and you have to install prime flex and you have to add in the angular.json file okay so style class then i'm just giving a class built-in class of a prime flex so if i'm making to 40 rem you can see sorry w30 rm is fine seems okay. let me try 30 rm then see the width is getting increased okay so this is how you can implement the style class uh, using prime flex or also you can add your own class name but you have to override the width okay or you can use inline style okay the next thing is like if you want to add so whatever we are adding inside this one is the main content so if you want to split it like a header content body content and footer content inside this sidebar you can use the ng template so i am just removing all the content inside the sidebar and i am copying like pasting like ng template with the header template content and footer so whatever you want you can give inside these templates see so header content will be the on top position body content will be like this and footer content will come um, come at the bottom side okay so this is the other available options in sidebar okay the next thing is other than this one so you can see that it is automatically getting dis dismissible so if you click outside the sidebar is getting dismissed right so in order to avoid that what you can do there is a parameter there is a property called dismissible then you can make it as a false so it if you click outside this sidebar it won't close so if i'm going to click here and it is not closing the similar way if you want now i have told right initially if you want to close the sidebar you can also press escape button for that what you can do in order to avoid that there is another property attribute called close on escape to make it false so by default this will be true and you can make it as false now so if i now if i press outside it is getting close but if i press escape it is not getting close the similar way now you can see a close button here and if you don't want that close button you can have the options to hide it okay so show close icon equal to false and if you open it that close icon is not there so these are the different properties um, useful properties of a sidebar the next thing is like the sidebar have mainly three events on show on hide and visible change okay i will show you i am just moving this one and i am and i am telling on show event i am calling a function in the component i'm i'm just passing an event okay so this will get triggered only when the sidebar is getting shown actually this event doesn't print anything but still i can show to you 
it will call only once the sidebar is open. Console. If I click on it, the sidebar is getting open. This event is an empty object now. And if I close it, it is not triggering. Okay. The next one is like own hide. The similar way of own show, there is an another event called own hide. And I am just writing a function own hide sidebar in the component.ts file. This event is also doing nothing but um, not showing nothing but it will only calls when we hide the sidebar. Saving it and you can see on click this is showing one and if you close this is a hiding one. If you open that show one and if you close that hide one. Okay. Next one is Visible change is the other um, visible change is the other event in the sidebar which will call on open and close. Okay, and I'm just writing a function inside the component.ts file as well. Saving, saving, and you can see the difference. If I click on it, on show is getting called visible change event is having a boolean value which is either true or false now it is true if you close it that hide event is calling and visible change is getting the event is getting false okay so these are the useful events in the sidebar